there, Justin from Blaze. Today, we're gonna walk through the process of setting up the Instagram integration with your autopilot workspace. Now, the way that Meta works, this process can seem a bit convoluted, but stick with me and we'll get through it. It's important to consider that any of the integrations that you connect with your autopilot account enables auto scheduling for all of those posts that get created for that platform. Keep this in mind as you decide which platforms you want to connect to your autopilot workspace. To connect additional platforms for your autopilot workspace, go to your brand kit, locate the integrations category and click new integration. Locate the Instagram card and then click connect to start the connection process. Take note that the information shown here is required, meaning you have to comply with it in order for this integration to work correctly. Again, Meta makes this process a bit convoluted, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Let's start by opening a new tab and jump over to the Meta Business Suite to get started working through those items. That's business.facebook.com. From here, you're going to need to do four things. First, you need to have or create a business portfolio. Second, you need to have and add your Facebook business page to that portfolio. Yes, I know that seems strange for an Instagram integration video, but it's required to have a Facebook business page. Third, you'll need to add your Instagram account to that portfolio as well. And then the fourth step, you'll need to link those two accounts together in the portfolio. You'll also need to be an admin of your Facebook business page in order to make this all work. If you've already set up and connected the Facebook integration with Autopilot, steps one and two should already be done, but just follow along to make sure you didn't miss anything. You'll just need to add your Instagram account and link them together, which is steps three and four. Okay, let's get started with the business portfolio, which is step one. If you have one already, just use that one. If not, just go ahead and create one by clicking create a business portfolio. Now put in the name for your business portfolio and all of the details that Meta is asking for. Once your business portfolio is created, navigate to it by clicking the asset selector in the top left of the screen. The second thing that you need to do is to add your Facebook business page to that portfolio. To do that, click settings, pages, then add. I'm going to go ahead and search for my business page, Urban Roasters. You'll obviously need to search and add yours. Then you need to approve the connection. And because Meta has detected that I'm the owner of the Urban Roasters Facebook page and the business portfolio, I can click next and approve the connection in one fell swoop. If you're not the page owner, someone else may need to approve the connection before you can proceed. Once it's been approved and connected, click done. Now the third step is adding the Instagram page to your business portfolio. Locate the Instagram accounts category in the sidebar Click it, then click add. Meta warns you that this will only work if your Instagram account is a business account, so it needs to be one. Agree to the terms that it shows you here, then click add Instagram account. Now you'll be prompted to log into your Instagram business account. Go ahead and use your credentials and then click add. Now it's also added it to my business portfolio, so it should have added it to yours. Instagram may ask you to log in a few times. If it does this, just follow the prompts, read through and accept the permissions. When I run through this process, sometimes Meta asks me to sign in multiple times, sometimes just a few. Either way, just sign in when it asks and you'll get there eventually. Thanks Meta. The fourth thing you need to do is to link your Instagram business account to your Facebook business page. When you click home on the Meta Business Suite, you should now both see the Facebook and Instagram accounts in your business portfolio. But notice the Instagram account is grayed out. That's because they're not connected. Click on connect Instagram. And then again, you might have to log in again here. Uh, then you're going to want to confirm access uh, to the inbox and then click continue. Meta will ask you to confirm the connection between your Facebook and Instagram pages. This is a critical part to accept. Once you get the connection success message, click skip. The page will refresh and now Instagram will show up in color, meaning it's connected. So everything's done now. Let's jump back to Blaze Autopilot for the easy part. From your Autopilot workspace, go to your brand kit, locate the integrations section, click new integration, locate the Instagram business card, and then click connect to start the process. Click go to Facebook business. Now select whether you want to opt in to all current and future pages, or you can just select a current page that you want. 
I recommend opting into all current and future pages, so this is just one less step you have to do in the future if you have additional pages. Click continue and make the same choice for your business portfolio too. Then click continue. Same for Instagram. Then click continue and then finally save. After all that, click got it and then you'll return back to autopilot where I'll ask you to select the business accounts that you want to add to your autopilot workspace. I'm going to go ahead and select urban roasters, then click connect accounts. Autopilot returns you to the integration window, but it's moved the integration business card up into the connected category, and it shows you the account name with the status check mark, letting you know that everything is good to go. Now, when you select an Instagram post from your calendar, you'll notice that the post is now set to auto scheduled, meaning any Instagram content that Autopilot creates for you is automatically going to go live at the designated date and time. Okay, if you've made it this far, congrats. You should be good to go for all future Instagram content on Autopilot. If this video helped you at all, be sure to give it a like. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all the ways that Blaze can help you grow your business.